So if you've owned a games console recently, you might recognise this. It's an external game drive made by Seagate. PlayStation and Xbox versions were made, but for our use case, they're basically the same thing. I'm using this 4TB Seagate Xbox One as an example. I got this really cheap on Facebook Marketplace. If you don't already own one, you can probably dig around and find a similar deal. Turns out what's inside these is just a standard 2.5 inch SATA hard drive, so they can easily be turned into internal computer drives. I'll go into the benefits of doing this at the end of the video, but for now let's start cracking it open, which we'll only need a knife or a prying tool for, as you can see. Seriously, it's easy to take this thing apart, there's no screws involved, just pull it apart like that. Once we've pulled it open, we'll first need to disconnect this cable for the LEDs. You just pull it out really, use tweezers or your fingers, it doesn't really matter. Once that's done, I'll let the drive just fall into my hand. Putting the case to the side now, we're going to start working on getting rid of this nasty foil. I pretty much got away with just using a multi-tool for this project, and you can too. Watch as I start to peel away the foil with the edge of a knife blade, and then rip away the metal with my bare hands. So underneath all the foil is an internal SATA data and power to micro USB adapter, not unlike the cable featured in our last video. There's really not much in the way of cabling, just an adapter attached to a PCB, which will unplug like so. Once I had the drive out, it was literally plug and play, so I put it in my PC and even had my game files still accessible. My 2010 Mac Pro eats the discs a bit weirdly, so ignore that, but put it in wherever the drive bays are on your computer, obviously. As far as uses for the casing go, the LED lights won't even work without a drive connected. I ended up just slapping in a 128GB SSD so that I could use it as a USB drive of sorts. I've no real use for this myself, but the green LED line does look pretty cool on its own, so I left it standing on my PC case. I can still always use it as a USB drive if I need to. Incidentally, what you've got now is pretty much an internal to external adapter for any hard drive or SSD. Sling whatever you want to in here, and it's good to come out and about with you. In the meantime, that 4TB drive is much more useful inside my PC than outside. Alright, so post video edit Monty here. I just thought I'd mention uh, that I've started actually working on videos weekly at this point. I get that all of you probably came from that one ancient video I did one time about graphics drivers that did pretty well for views, which I appreciate. But honestly, from here on out, a friend and I will be creating videos consistently about our hobbies on this channel, which include restoring old Apple hardware, building computers, reviewing some unique items with a few guides here and there. You're more than likely a bit fed up of hearing this, but I would appreciate anyone new to the channel helping us gain traction by sending over some likes or even a subscription.